Hi YouTube family, how is everybody doing today? It is bright and sunny outside and today I have a beautiful recipe to share with you all. Welcome back to the channel and it's a pleasure to be cooking with you again in the kitchen. So here I have some lentils soaking and I soak it for about 8 hours. Overnight is best to soak it because it will be easy to cook. I will drain the water and I'll show you the next step because we are making spicy lentils rice. Today is a vegetarian day in my kitchen and I have a very delicious recipe to share. I'm going to show you what the lentils look like before I soak them. There's a lot of different kinds of lentils but today this is the one I am using for my recipe. See it's brown and very little. This is how it looks before I soak it. It's very rich in protein and have so many good health benefits. For this recipe, I will be using long grain basmati rice. And I'm gonna thoroughly wash it. I'm gonna soak it for about half an hour and then we will start our cooking process. So these are the fresh ingredients I'm gonna be adding to my spicy lentils rice. I have here some grated ginger, grated garlic, I have here some cilantro, I'm going to use this for garnish, two carrots, two chili, my kids love chili in food, and I have onion, this takes a little bit more onion, so I'm going to go in and chop my onions, and for this recipe, there is no special way to cut the onions, I'm just going to go and slice them thinly like this but we need a good portion for this recipe so we have all our ingredients nicely chopped up I have my spices I have some roasted ground jeera or cumin I have some roasted red chili powder I have some roasted coriander seed garlic ginger over here is my tomato paste and I have some grated carrot we're gonna light our stove I have oil in the pot and we're gonna start with the onions and then we will work our way down to all the ingredients now add my onions in the pot for this recipe we need a wide pot so the rice and the lentils can cook perfectly well we want to cook the onions until it's really caramelized so we're gonna go in and now add our lentils. And when I said I'm adding lentils, I'm adding a good portion because I don't want it to be skimpy in the dish. I wanna see those lentils when I'm eating my food. So we're gonna mix it up. And like I mentioned, the onions need to be well caramelized. I am frying up the lentils along with the onions. So we're gonna go in now and add our tomato paste and we will give this a good mix. The tomato paste is gonna add some color and some nice flavor to the lentil and the rice. We wanna mix that in well. So we're gonna go in now and add our coriander powder. We're gonna add our roasted cumin and we will add our roasted red chili powder and that's for heat and flavor and we are gonna mix this up nicely oh boy it smells so nice for all my vegetarian friends you will be very happy with this recipe you gotta give it a try and for all my non veggies you can serve this up with any meat of your choice and everybody will be happy. So I have some water warming up on the back of the stove and I don't want to stop the cooking process so I'm gonna pour in some hot water. I wanna measure this water so I can give the accurate amount that I'm adding to it. So we're gonna add about four to six cup of water. We're gonna cover the lentils and we'll leave it to cook until the lentils is nice and tender. And then we will go ahead and add our rice in here with the rest of the ingredients. 
So just in case if you're wondering what the coriander powder is, it comes from the coriander seed which we call masala back home and it is one very flavorful spice. So this is what I'm using as the coriander powder and coriander seed comes from the cilantro plant or some people call it coriander leaves as well. So they are family. This is the leaf and this here is the coriander seed which have a very authentic delicious flavor from many different kind of dishes our lentils is now cooked until tender let me show you what it looks like when you squeeze it like this you can mash it then you know it's ready i'm gonna go in and add my rice now and you know the rice will expand we will get a full pot of lentil rice we're gonna give this a nice mix. Look how beautiful that lentil and this rice is looking. Oh my goodness. So I think I have enough water in here for this. I'm gonna put my stove to low heat, but I wanna add all the rest of the ingredients in here right now. We're gonna go in with our garlic. So I'm gonna add my ginger and we will give this a good mix. It smells good. I know the flavors that I add in here will really, really enhance the dish and give us a beautiful flavor. The lentils will work like a protein. So this is gonna be a nice, filling, delicious meal. We're gonna add our salt now, and you can always taste and add to your taste. I'm gonna leave all the ingredients and measurement that I'm using today for this beautiful lentil rice. I'm gonna cover this, and I'll come back to it in about 10 minutes before we add our cilantro, green chili, and carrots. So our rice is looking amazing. Look at this beautiful, juicy, fluffy, and very nicely done. The grains of the rice are still holding up. So now I'm gonna go in and add my carrots. Now we're gonna mix in our carrots, and I added the carrots later because I wanna have a beautiful contrast with the carrot and the rice. And you know I have to add some vegetable in there. Look how beautiful this rice is done. Oh my God, at this point I turn my stove off and I'm gonna go in here now with both my green chili and my cilantro. You can also leave the chilies out if you're not big on heat and you can add your cilantro and at this point here the rice is really nice and delicious i wish you all can smell what i am smelling i saved myself some of the fried onions to add in after because i want that nice caramelized onion flavor right at the end i'm gonna mix this in if you have crispy fried onions that can work as well but this dish is a beauty for my vegetarian friends you have to try this out i'm gonna cover the pot for 10 minutes the stove is off and then i will come back and plate it up so you can see the fluffiness in the rice we're gonna make a beautiful yogurt sauce to go with this lentil rice and i have here a plain greek yogurt that we're using you need plain yogurt for this i grated one cucumber and I have some freshly chopped mint from my garden. I'm gonna go in here now with my yogurt. I have, this is half a cup. I'm gonna do a full cup. And I'll go in with my mint. This is a nice refreshing yogurt sauce because the rice is a little bit on the spicy side. The mint is gonna be refreshing along with the cucumber and the yogurt is gonna have that cooling effect is just a beautiful beautiful dish today and just to balance off everything i like to add a little pinch of salt not too much and give it a good mix and you guys come on down let's eat so let me show you what the rice look like after i rest it for a nice 10 minutes 
oh my goodness gracious look at that beautiful nice and fluffy and I'm gonna plate it up in here look at this look at this fluffiness you can count every grain of this rice there's no shortage of the lentils and there's beautiful colors of the carrots and the green cilantro and hot chili pepper Ooh la la it is also juicy as well too perfectly done i hope you'll give this dish a try so let's dig in now look at my plate how beautiful i laid out look at this rice so loosey and so nicely seasoned oh my god this piece here is a piece with the green chili and i have my yogurt here to go with it i'm gonna go for a mouthful i am drooling for this rice cheers to all the viewers and subscribers oh my god the spices the onions the cilantro pepper and everything is just coming through that green chili really spice it up a lot and this is an amazing not because i make it but it's so flavorful there is crunch there is sweetness from the carrot and everything that you want for dinner so if you like this video i hope you'll give it a try please give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet we hope you'll consider subscribing soon until then i want to say stay blessed stay safe we love you all bye for now i can't stop mm -mm -mm.